One legend would have us believe that to give the sword its finishing touch, the metal was cooled by thrusting it through the body of a muscular slave to have his strength flow into the sword. And that's not the only outrageous tale. Others believe that the strength of Damascene steel came from quenching the sword in the urine of a red-headed boy or in a goat that had eaten ferns for three days, neither of which got them very far. In the centuries after the Crusades, many sought to replicate the swords of Damascus, but most achieved only the appearance, not the properties. In fact, it took nearly till 1975 to unlock the secret of the Syrian sword of Indian wood steel. The irony is, the most important legacy of the ancient Indian metal workers was not the recipe of the steel, but a byproduct of the search for it.